be sleeping right now okay but i'm going to include a, a, a short clip at some point in this video where you guys get to meet her um and i'll introduce her to you guys hey guys welcome back to my channel i know i took quite a break your girl gave birth to a bouncing baby girl i guess that's no news to you guys for those who follow me on instagram in particular they've met uh, baby talia that's her name um if you're new to this channel my name is funking dolly i am a dubai based cameroonian youtuber i film random videos about my life about um skincare just anything that i love so today we are going to be talking about my birth slash delivery story i am so sorry i don't have um a, 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 like a live vlog about my birth everything happened so so fast i was in so much pain we forgot about we even forgot i was a youtuber as a matter of fact because of the amount of pain i was into so you guys won't be seeing that lots of people have asked me already on instagram when i'm uploading my life they would like to see like the live birth no i didn't get to film that and i'm sorry now talking about my delivery story wow on social media i know i portrayed myself um my pregnancy journey to be like easy peasy lots of people were like oh my god you make it look so easy this thing i'm getting pregnant asap um yeah for the most part i tried my best to be positive the whole journey but i went through a lot of things also behind the scenes like at home those who came to my like my closest friends and family members they saw me at my lowest and at my worst the vomiting the extreme vomiting the extreme back pain at work because i worked up until the end up until i gave birth literally so jumping straight to my delivery this is what happened uh towards the 36th week of my pregnancy i developed edema like mad swollen feet at first i thought it was normal everybody around me was like Mm, yeah, it's normal. This is one of the signs of pregnancy. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. I was like, okay um, Fast forward to like the 38th week It was looking crazy like cray cray like really bad. I started panicking. I worry But everybody was to be like no don't worry. You're almost there uh, At work my colleagues were so supportive. My supervisors were so supportive I, would, I could put my legs on four chairs if I wanted to yeah but it was not helping and of course you would i would have the unsolicited advice from right left center put your legs in salt put your legs up everybody had something to say like oh and then i'll try a couple but at 38 weeks like i said because i gave birth at 38 weeks four days basically um i remember coming home on sunday yeah it was on a sunday i gave birth on a wednesday so on sunday i came home that evening from work the legs were really really bad they were they were they were they, that's the worst i had ever seen them i was worried but i was like okay um i would go to i would uh, go see my doctor the next day i had called my doctor booked an appointment so i had to meet my doctor on monday uh one of my friends one of my colleagues she told me to soak my feet in sea salt and warm water i was like okay since i'm home i will just relax and do as she said so i soaked my feet in sea salt salt water they look horrible after that it looked it looked worse basically anyways monday i wake up i go to the hospital i meet my doctor my gynecologist he checks the baby checks the heart rate everything is fine and he's like mm, you're okay but the feet is a call for concern. I don't know what's going on with your feet, but we need to check check for preeclampsia. So they check for preeclampsia. He, I have mixed signs. I have, I don't have protein in my urine, but what I don't have protein in my urine. My blood pressure is very stable, but the feet, no, no, the feet were not looking good. He sends me to see an internal medicine doctor. He's like, at this point, he needs a second opinion. An internal medicine no 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 i see another doctor first and the other doctor is like mm, they need a third opinion at that point that's when i get to see an internal medicine doctor and he was the person that said we are hospitalizing you on monday when i went to the hospital on monday just for my checkup at that point they were like dolly we are hospitalizing you i was like okay 
hospitalizing me something wrong what is going on they're like no they need to monitor me um at that point my bp had gone up slightly i guess i was just stressed you know so he uh they said they're hospitalizing me i was like okay i had just my handbag nothing much i informed my husband i informed my close friends that okay i'm going to be hospitalized basically so they check everything and then they come back they tell me um it's 38 weeks four days the baby is fully developed you have nothing to worry about we are going to induce you your feet don't look good we don't think you have to carry on with this pregnancy till full term and i was like wow okay no problem i'm getting induced so they brought this medicine which they inserted into me that was monday night so yeah i spent the night the my level level started contraction started but it was not bad i was like hmm this thing if this is what level is okay i'm good i think i'll be able to do this monday night um i spent the night at the hospital of course tuesday morning i wake up the doctor comes and checks me and she's like mm, you've dilated one centimeter wow this is good you're responding so well to the drug and everything i was like yes i've got this this is going on so so smooth okay and then i uh, i'm at the hospital i eat everything later on during the day they in they bring the second and then no later on during the day they check me again i'm still at one centimeter they're like no problem don't worry we are going to give you the second uh, the second dose we we'll insert the second dose i was like okay so towards the evening they insert the second dose wow okay things got serious at that point <laughs> yeah things got serious my contractions were quite intense like really intense towards the night but fast forward to about 2 a.m 3 a.m my contractions were mad they were intense when i say intense it was really they were really really strong i asked the midwife one of the midwives i think she was kenyan i asked her like um what how strong can contractions get she was like maybe 130 she has seen 130 or even up to 150 because i had all these machines on me monitoring the baby's heart rate which was very important and monitoring my uh, contractions she's like she's seen 130 and 150 at that point i was getting to 120 she was like wow your contractions are mad i'm going to get the doctor to come check you guess what the doctor comes in i've been crying i've been walking up and down to fast to make things go quick quick the doctor comes in and check and i'm at two centimeters two freaking centi uh, uh, centimeters and i'm supposed to be at 10 i don't even do it, how is this thing is it measured by centimeters i don't know but i'm at two and i'm supposed to be at 10 to be able to give birth the doctor comes and checks me and she's at my two i'm like two what i'm supposed to be at 10 and right now i'm still at two i break down i'm crying and everything my husband is like no don't worry everything will be fine um going to about 4 a.m in the morning the contractions were so bad the doctor and the nurse they walk in the, they were like um we could give you uh, an epidural you're really you're in so much pain i'm like no i don't want an epidural they were like we could we we want to give you we could give you painkillers i'm like no i don't want anything i'm okay they were like wow you're really strong let us know as soon as possible if you want the epidural or any painkillers okay i'm like yeah no problem I'm there, I'm holding on, I'm being strong. At some point, I'm walking, and then some liquid starts coming down. In my head, I'm like, my water has broken. <laughs> I tell my husband to call the, call the midwife, call the midwife. I think my water has broken. The midwife comes in. Let me tell you guys the first thing, the thing I'll never forget about my experience when it comes to my delivery. It's the checks. When the doctors come in and they send their fingers in you to check how dilated you are, the pain is out of this world. I've never ever experienced that kind of pain. The, the, uh, the, the midwife came in, she, she looked at it, she was like, mm, she doesn't think it's my water, but to be sure, the doctor will come in and check. I'm like, hell no, not this check thing again. I don't want anybody sending their fingers in me. It hurts so bad. She's like, the doctor has to check for them to know what is going on with me. The doctor comes in, sends fingers in me. It hurts. I'm screaming. They're telling you to relax. I'm like, in God's name, how can I relax when I'm in so much pain? She checks. She's like, no, your water is not broken. You're still at two centimeters. Lord in heaven. Let me 
I kept, I was hospitalized on Monday, okay? Monday, Monday at about 6 p.m. I've spent Monday night. We are now spending Tuesday night in the hospital. They've inserted, they've given, they've inserted um, two drugs in me already. Nothing. I'm at two freaking centimeters. Okay, going now to Wednesday morning, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I've not slept. And um, they keep telling me to stay awake, to monitor the baby's heart rate. Oh, no, no. At the, each time the baby kicks or move, uh, each time there's movement, I should press some button. I fell as, I, I mean, in fact, I slept. I don't stop. <laughs> I didn't do as the midwife said. And then at some point, my doctor now, she comes in. That was Wednesday morning at about 10 a.m. 11 she comes she's like hey girl how are you how's everything i'm like i don't know what's going on i'm in so much pain apparently things are not progressing she's like don't worry let me check to see she checks and she's like mm, you are at two cent you're still at two getting to three i look at my husband my husband looks at me because we are confused we are amazed like Hold on. They said they needed to put just two of those medicines in me for me to, for things to go like real quick. We thought by now we would have had the baby. We are like, what's going on? Why is my body not responding? The doctor is like, no, don't worry. Um, just be patient. Your body, you'll be fine. I'm going to give you the third dose. Normally, we don't give it, but I'm going to insert the third dose, okay? We're like, okay. They insert the third dose and the contractions again they are mad i'm going through so so much pain at that point i'm already they've taken me to the labor to the labor room already before they even started inserting all the medicine i was already in the labor room i'm in so much pain i'm bearing i'm, I'm enduring the pain i'm crying i'm at at that point i started telling my husband babe i think i'll go for that epidural he's like no babe you said you were not going to go for it i'm like mm -mm, babe you cannot understand you don't know how much pain i'm in i was twisting and cramping his feet his legs sorry his back his arm i can imagine how red they were because each time i each time the labor is really strong i would grab him and that's how he would know that my labor is really that the contractions are really bad so it keeps going on i'm enduring i'm crying and everything at some point i got so tempted to ask for the epidural but i think at some point the doctor came she saw the amount of pain i was in she's like no 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 no. i'm giving you painkillers you cannot do this to yourself you're going to get tired by the time you get to 10 and you won't be able to push i'm like okay give me the painkiller so they come they inject they injected me and everything um would i say it really helped i don't think so because i was feeling so much pain still okay and then i refused to eat i told the doctors i was not hungry i don't want to eat anything so on wednesday morning i didn't eat anything i did not have breakfast i don't think i ate lunch yeah i don't i really don't i think i skipped breakfast i skipped lunch now the doctor comes at about what two three p.m ish she's like okay i'm going to check you i'm very positive you would have made some progress for crying out loud we've inserted three medicines in the three uh tablets into you already i'm like okay fingers crossed my husband is like he's being so hopeful i'm being so hopeful the doctor checks and she's like mm, you're getting to three cent three centimeters <laughs> oh my god i looked at my husband and the doctor was like i need to talk to you alone first everybody leaves the room she's like um you're the strongest girl i've ever seen you've been in pain since monday evening at this point i think we cannot continue anymore you've pushed you've pushed you've pushed but at this point i think we should go in for a c-section what do you want you can keep enduring i don't know for how long you're going to be in labor but at this point i recommend a c-section I was like, hell yes, we are going for the C-section. She's like, okay, I'm going to talk to your husband outside. She steps out, uh, she speaks with my husband. My husband walks in and, she's, and he's like, yeah, he has accepted the C-section. That what do I want? I was like, yes, please. I'm exhausted. I was crying at that point. He's like, it's okay. So they start prepping me for the C-section, doing all the, sh the shaving, everything. Um, yeah, I think they took me to the theater at about, what? at about like 5 p.m like yeah like 5 p.m ish something like that and i went there they gave me uh, anesthesia that's the first time i've never had surgery in my entire life 
yeah so they gave me some sort of um, anesthesia on my back it didn't hurt that much I'm scared of needles but this one didn't hurt that much I felt numb I got I became like numb numb then uh, they put I was because it was it got very cold they put some sort of heater so many things were happening so many doctors were around me about three were here three were here the, uh, the person administering the anesthesia was behind me so many people were in there with me but at some point I didn't feel the cut even. I didn't feel the cut, nothing. The only thing I remember was when I heard a cry. And that's when I knew that my baby was here. Yeah, so they, uh, uh, hopefully um, everything went on well. The surgery went on really well. They took her out. The doctor was like, oh, because they are, they are, she was Arabic. She was like, mashallah, your daughter is so beautiful. <laughs> I was like oh can I see her they brought her to me and then I kissed her they took her to clean out I guess maybe do some checks and everything um, they took the baby to see my husband as well and that's it after that they took me to another room and they kept me warm in there they put they put a lot of machines around me but it was very uh, warm in there yeah the next time i saw my baby she was dressed already because i had friends over in the hospital my husband was there baby talia was dressed when i saw her there when they took me to my room back to my room i was crying it felt it was so surreal like she was here so yeah if you've been really curious about um what type of birth i had if it was a c-section or a natural birth no things didn't go as planned for me i was in labor for roughly more than 24 hours which led to an emergency c-section basically okay guys so i'm going to show you guys my baby briefly she's quite fussy right now so this is little miss diver her name is talia moreno guerrero sorry sorry So I just wanted you guys to meet her. If you want to see more of her, you will have to check out my Instagram or her Instagram page as well so that you could see more pictures of her. But yes, she is. But that's it about my delivery or uh, my birth story. I really, really wanted to have a natural birth. I told myself I was never going to take epidural. I was not going to take any painkillers, but I ended up with an emergency C-section. Um, Healing-wise, it was very difficult. Very, very difficult. If you guys want me to talk about um, the aftermath of a C-section, let me know in the comment section. I will talk about that in another video. But that's it about my birth slash delivery um, story in Dubai that's how everything happened it went on so smooth I'm so thankful to my doctor she is the best the best doctor ever and if you're wondering what hospital I gave birth at it's um, NMC uh, specialty hospital that's why I gave birth so thank you guys for watching this video if you don't click that like button for anything else in the world click it because of my daughter don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye